Hi, my name is Sasha Segan with PCMag.com and this is What's New Now. Virgin and Qualcomm want to launch 648 satellites to provide internet access to parts of the world where it's currently too expensive to log on by any other means. This is an insane number of satellites, so it also looks like this project is sort of a demo for Virgin's low-cost small satellite launching program called Launcher One. Launcher One lets companies put small satellites up in the sky for about 10 million each. That's a tenth of what it costs to launch them through normal means. Elon Musk's SpaceX is also cutting satellite launch prices. Its Falcon 9 rocket costs $55 million to launch. That's more than Virgin's solution, but Falcon 9 can launch much bigger satellites. Virgin's goal, like Google's with its Project Loon balloons and Facebook with its internet drones, is to get better internet access out to the boonies of Africa and Asia where there aren't even any 3G cellular towers. About 60% of the world's population doesn't have internet access right now, according to the UN, and that rises to 80% in Africa. Now, there's a certain number of people who just aren't going to get the net because they don't want it or they would never be able to afford it. But hopefully these projects will get more people connected. Yes, they also need clean water and health care and stable housing, but these things shouldn't be an either-or proposition. I'm a little frustrated, though, at how none of these solutions acknowledge the real problems we have here in North America. Virgin's graphic showing its satellite coverage doesn't even show the Western Hemisphere, as if to underscore that Africa and Asia are where things are really going to happen in the 21st century. They have a point, after all. We're theoretically a rich country, and we should be able to solve our own problems. But somehow that hasn't translated into widespread affordable internet access in our rural areas. We need to get our act together here in the U.S., or we'll find in a few years that there will be more internet options in Niger than in Nebraska. I'm Sasha Segan, and that was What's New Now. We're going to be off on Monday for Martin Luther King Day, so we'll see you guys on Tuesday.